So now while we in line, I'm starting to look at the people that's ahead of me. So I see a lot of drags. I see a lot of, you know what I'm saying, divas. I see studs. I see cross dressers. I do see some baddies now. I see some baddies, but I'm thinking like, okay, maybe this is a mixed breed club. You know what I'm saying? So he like, yo, when we get in, I'm buying the first drink. Now, I wanted to jump the gun and say something, but I ain't say nothing. So, boom, we get up close, do like $25. I gave him my $25. He put a little wristband on me. Boom. Sandwich rod. We in there. Now, it's crowded, okay? And it's bumping. And I'm talking about it's people having a good ripping time. I, me, I go straight to the bar. I need a drink. Now, as I'm ordering my drink, it's a little baddie behind the bar. Oh, my God. Like, she, But, you know, they got to do that for the tip. She had everything just... The chi cheese was exposed when when she got the bent down and got the ice. You know what I'm saying? She been there like that. You know what I'm saying? It got the ice. I was like, oh. You know what I'm saying? I was like, okay. Maybe I could untense my body a little bit. So, boom, I got me a nice little Long Island iced tea. He like, bro, what you get? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I got a Long Island iced tea. He like, all right. He like, I'm going to grab me a beer. So he grabbed him a beer. Then he grabbed him a shot. Now, at this point, I only bought me one drink. Because when I'm out like this, I need to keep my eyes on the prize, right? So the bartender, she's steady trying to get me lit. She's like, hey, it's a shot on me. So I'm looking like, okay. I think I think she's feeling me. So she say, you don't dance? I'm like, I dance. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what kind of club this is? I'm like, it's popping. She said, oh, it, every day of the week is a different day. But she said, this is a gay club. And I said, oh, this, oh, my face went from, oh, okay, this, all right, gotcha. So she like, yeah, but today is a versatile day. And I was like, versatile day? She like, yeah, she like, everybody ain't even getting here. We're going to have a show around about 12, 12 a.m. I'm like, a show? So, you know, I got to stay for the show. And I'm already in there, pay my $25, let's have a good time. Now, as I'm roaming around the club, all right, I got majority of the diva guys, cross dresses. I got a lot of guys coming to me, right? So I'm like, they're like, oh, you is too cute. Oh, you are too fine. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I I don't, I already don't know how to take a compliment. So it was like, right there was like taking a compliment from them. Like, I was just like, oh, I'm all right. You know, I'm all right. Boom. Got a couple of females coming to me, right? So I'm at the bar area, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you got some soda water. Because <laughs> I needed something because that Long Island iced tea was itching the throat, right? So the girl come behind me like, can I get a 7-Up? But her chichis on, I'm like, dang. She like, I'm sorry. I'm like, yeah, are you? She like, or maybe not. I'm like, or maybe not, right? I'm like, okay. I said, well, won't you just go here first? She like, mm-hmm. So she go, boom, grab a 7-Up. Now she's eyeing me. Okay, she got her little section over there, but she eyeing me. So now the show has started. It's a lot of voguing going on, a lot of ka, 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 ka. You know, it's a lot of that going on. So I was worried why Gerard ain't even come to me like, bro, you see this? So then let me know that he been to this spot before. So I'm like, man, bro, I ain't know this was, you know what I'm saying? When we finally talked, I'm like, I ain't know this was a gay club. He's like, oh, man, I didn't even know. He like, I only came here two times to give me a drink. So we're talking, right? So, boom, it started to get late. So, I'm like, man, now I got to open up the store in, like, less than three hours, okay? Gerard's supposed to be off the next day. I gave him an off day. So, he like, all right, he like, let's let's have one more drink. Boom, we have one more drink. I get ready to, like, you know, get ready to go. So, I pay my bill, lead, lead a, you know, bartender a tip. She's like, you going to come back to see me, hon? I said, I'm going to come back. I say it's lit up here. I'm going to come back. So, as I'm walking off, the girl... That put the chi chis on my back when she was getting a seven up. She sees me. She said, You finna leave already? I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm finna leave. She like, you are just so fine. You are my type. I'm like, I'm your type. She like, yeah, she like, this the type of stud I want. So when she said stud, I was like, wait a minute, you know what I'm saying? Put a pause in it. Put a pin in it. Pump the brakes. Pull it back. So I had to play the card because I just don't go around telling people I got two body parts in case I'm about to get ready to 
to deal with you. You feel me? Then I give you the heads up. But then I'm just not going to go around telling everybody around town in the woodworks of what I am. So, so I was like, who said I was a stud? So she was like, so what are you? She like, it's just a whole bunch of fineness right here. So I'm like, you play too much. She like, no. Nah. She like, give me your number. I say, you give me your number. I was never the type that I that give my number out. Boom, she give me a number. I'm like, what you want me to call you? Like, what you want me to log you in? She like, jazz. I'm like, jazz. I'm like, all right, bet. So I put her in this jazz. She like, you better text her. I'm like, I'm gonna text you. Now here's the deal. I never, I ain't even text that girl at all. I just took the number, get right out of her face. So boom, as me and Gerard. We're coming out the club, right? So Gerard, like, hey, he, like, sparked this up. Now, we, like, not in front of the club, but, you know, like, a few steps away from the door. We can still hear the music. It's still popping. People coming in and out. People coming out to have a smoke break. You know what I'm saying? So me and Gerard, we out there doing the Zaza. Now, mind you, we on 71st and Jeffrey, where it's cops all day that come through that bad boy. So we doing the Zaza. All of a sudden... We see these two these two dudes get in a car, right? It was one regular dude, and then it was a feminine guy get in the car. So all of a sudden, as we're talking, we see a crowd, and this dude that was like a diva, okay? He had long hair, booty cut shorts. He was like, yo, <laughs> he was a little baddie. Man, he came out the club. People came out the club behind him, and he goes to the passenger side. So, as me and Gerard, we out there doing the Zaza, passing it back and forth. We don't know what's happening. But, you know, as a man, once you raise that, you know what I'm saying, that vocal, when you raise your voice, people know when something about to get ready to pop off. Man, he grabbed... Yo, he grabbed the passenger. He said, you think I'm playing? Get out of his car right now. He grabbed the dude. And pull him, I promise you, on my parents, pull him out the driver's seat window, bro. He pulled him out the window. The window was down. He pulled the dude from the passenger side out the window out. So that was his boo. So the guy that was on the driver's side gets out the car. Now it's a fight, okay? It's going crazy. So the bouncers come out. They not stopping it because they like loans that ain't in the club. So now it's a whole big ordeal. It's going crazy. Now the cops finally pull up, breaks it off. I'm like, look, I'm finna go to the crib. So Gerard said, yeah, me too. I'm sorry, right, we do our little secret handshake. I go my way. He go his way. So he calls me. He like, yo, you made it to the crib safe. He was just like, people already know, like, that's how I am. And people that's in my circle, that's how they are. They check on me. I check on them because by me losing my parents, I always got to make sure anybody in my circle is you okay. I'm just like that. Call it weird, but that's just how I am. So boom, he hit me up like, you made it safe. I'm like, yeah, I just walked up. You know what I'm saying? I just walked up in the building. I get to my crib, I have me a little session, you know what I'm saying? I don't even have me a little, you know, a little thotty over. I don't even have me a little thotty over. So I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? It's just me by myself. I got to get up in a couple of hours. Mind you, Gerard is off. Boom. My alarm go off. I shower. I head to work. I'm there a little early. I only get like two hours of sleep, but that's normal for me. Boom. I get to work, setting everything up. Now, as the day it's transpiring. I haven't talked to Gerard. Me and him talk every day, all day. We don't miss a beat. The store phone, my phone been blowing up, but we was in the middle of a rush. But the store phone blowing up. Now, by policy, if you're a manager, you have to pick up that Duncan phone. I pick up the phone. It's his baby mama, right? She's like, hey, Ro, I've been calling your cell phone. I said, oh, I'm sorry. We're in the middle of a rush. I'm like, uh, what's going on? She like, can I talk to Gerard? I said, Gerard is off today. She like, what? I'm like, yeah, he's off today. She like, how's he's off? He said that you called him in at 2 a.m. I said, wait, what? I said, did you Google like our store? First off, our store closes at 9 p.m. We don't open until 5 a.m. Where to? So she like, no, because he said you've been having him doing doubles and working and doing the bakery and, you know, because we used to bake all the donuts and the bagels. I'm like, wait, that's what he said? She like, yeah, and that you wasn't paying him. Now she giving me all the tea. So I'm like, oh, wait, he act like I'm doing him wrong as a manager. He posted me my whole boy. So now I'm getting heated. But say I ain't gonna never let a woman come in in between. You no know, me. Like, look, this my guy. You feel me? Honey, bad man. 
I'm going to bring it to him, but at the same token, I ain't going to let nobody come in between God. Supposedly be friendship, right? Boom, I'm like, all right, I'm like, uh, let me reach out to see where he is. She like, yeah, because I got to get ready to go to work. I hang up the phone. I'm like, hey, y'all, watch the floor. I slide away. I grab my cell phone. I call him. I get straight to the voicemail. I call him off the store phone, straight to voicemail. Now I go to text him. I say, look, man, I know you see my call. I say, hit me back ASAP, man. So, boom, he hit me back ASAP when he got the text. He like, hey, brother, man, I just woke up. I said, look, your baby mama just called the phone. She think you work today. He like, what? He like, why she think I work today? I'm like, bro, you you been telling her you been doing doubles? He like, no. I'm like, she said something about you got to come and babysit because she finna get ready, you know what I'm saying, to go to work. He like, why she can't take over that to her mama crib? He like, man, I ain't going to even tell no lie to you. I'm over here at this chick crib spending the night. He like, I'm far. I'm all the way in Indiana. I say, now, mind you, I don't know where Indiana at. He telling me that it's about 45 minutes to an hour away from where I'm at. He like, what time you get off? I'm like, I get off at 12. He say, well, I'm going to be on my way to you before you get off. All right, cool. He gets, he gets there, right? I'm off. He gets there. So I ain't say nothing, right? I ain't say nothing. We go back to my tip as we, you know what I'm saying, chief like the chimney, I get a call, right? Now, I've been trying to move out of the condominium that I was in because we was always getting memos. People were starting to tell on me. And then plus me and Big Homie, we had beef with Mark. It was just a lot of beef around that area. And plus, I wanted to move around anyway. Now, I had a four-year contract lease with that kind of meaning. So I had to break the contract, pay more, you know what I'm saying? So they wouldn't put it on my background. I ended up getting a spot downtown. So the lady called me like, yeah, your, your credit went through everything approved, blah, blah, blah. So I'm excited, right? So I, Gerard is there. I'm excited. So I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I, I got to tell, you know what I'm saying? I got to tell my boss and things like that and that nature. So they're telling me I can move the next month on the first, but I can come and get my keys and I can move stuff in early when I put down a deposit. I got the deposit now. We're going to stroll on down now. Me and Gerard strolled on down there to the main office. I went on here. Boom. They gave me the keys after I paid. They gave me the keys. I'm ready to, I can just start moving in and start living there if I want. So Gerard started helping me slowly but surely. So as he helping me, we get to my new place downtown and I say, hey, bro, I got a question for you. I say, I always paid you because time work is time pay, right? He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say, did you tell her that you was coming to work? For me, at 2 a.m., and ooh, I'm telling him basically everything she said.